Renowned researcher and author Dr. Temple Grandin told Arkansas 4-H and FFA members they need to use social media to promote the humane ways they care for their animals. More than 200 4-H and FFA members and their families came to the Vines 4-H Center in West Little Rock August 12th to meet and hear Dr. Temple Grandin talk about her research in handling livestock and understanding how farm animals respond to different stimulus. Grandin is a professor in the Animal Science Department at Colorado State University. She challenged the young people who are involved in raising livestock to be more proactive in using social media to reach their urban friends who don't have a clue about what they do. People just don't have any idea where food comes from, and I think 4-H'ers need to be um, you know, putting up videos of, okay, getting their steer ready for the show, getting their pig ready for the show, if they're in poultry, getting poultry ready for the show, what they're doing in 4-H. Just um, put that up on, uh, on their Facebook page. But they need to be getting this linked into um, uh, Facebook pages of people that live back in the cities, just showing what they do. And the thing is, you got to communicate with the general public, not with activist groups, the general public. And they are just curious. Grandin was diagnosed with autism as a child and has used her personal experiences to educate students and the public how to better handle livestock. When animals, when you're moving cattle and they get scared of something, it's usually visual. Visual's the dominant sense. And they get scared of little things that move rapidly, like a little piece of chain hanging in the chute, just wiggling, uh, a yellow coat hung up on the, on the side of the fence, a, a vehicle parked next to the fence with a reflection on it. You know, I teach the students that I have, well, veterinary students, animal science students, be observant. What's that animal looking at? What are its ears looking at? Something you tend to not notice, that animal is going to notice. Jansen Riddle is a 4-H ambassador from Damascus. His family owns a dairy, and he appreciated having the opportunity to learn from such a renowned authority on the handling of farm animals. He agrees that he and his peers need to communicate better through social media about how they care for their animals. I say we need to get on Facebook and Twitter and put it out there. Come help us at the fairs. Come to our farm roundup that's in our county. We have a farm roundup where we teach kids about agriculture. And then, like, as 4 h -ers do, we get up on stage and we'll talk about our agriculture, about what we do in our projects, and it gets it out there. And we've had more people in our county come after doing those, and it's been amazing. Grandin has written several books on animal welfare and humane livestock handling. She has designed livestock facilities for stockyards that take into account cattle's sensitivity to visual stimulus and give them more space to move through chutes and corrals.